Hey Power Appers, this is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to migrate data from one environment in Power Platform to another environment in Power Platform. So stay tuned. Welcome back. When you migrate a solution in Dataverse from one environment to another environment, data does not come over with it. Well, why is that? Well, when you think about it, when you're going from development to production, you likely want, don't want your development data polluting production. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to show you another way of selectively picking the tables that we're going to migrate from development to QA to production. We'll build a package that exports some data out, and then we're going to migrate it into another environment. So that's what our goal is for, the, for the, this video is. So let's jump right into it. To do this, we're going to use a data migration utility from Microsoft. It's a free utility that has got some quirks on it sometimes, but it's a pretty good utility for comprehensively moving these elements. Now, we have other videos about how you migrate the tables and the apps and the flows and all that using solutions. This video is going to focus on just migrating the data after that solution has been migrated. So let's start by opening up my environment, as you see right here, and I've got my source application up top and my destination application at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and just create a few brand new records. So I've got uh, Creed I'm going to create, and I'll create, uh, oh, do I have Creed already? I do not have Creed, oh, yep, yeah, I do not have Creed. And I'll create one more called uh, Jan. All right, so I have two new records in my my development environment, and I want to see that data migrate from test to QA. I'm also going to go through here, I'm going to wipe all this data clean. This is my, my production environment. So we have a clean environment in production, and I want to basically migrate the data from, from test or from QA or from development into production. So there's a number of ways you can export data out. You'll notice up top here that when I look at this, this area, you'll see an export to Excel where I can basically create a static worksheet and then import it over here. You also have templates you can use to import and export. There's also a data migration utility or data flows. The point of this session is I want to migrate maybe 20 tables or 10 tables over from point A to point B. These solutions I just showed you a moment ago are great for like one or two tables. But when you're trying to migrate an entire solution or a Power App portal, Power Pages, it does become extremely tricky. So the first step we want to do is in the description of this video, there's a link that you're seeing right here. This is in the description of the video to the uh, data migration utility. Once you're here, click on this PowerShell script to copy it out. Then go ahead and open up PowerShell. All right, bring it over to your screen here. Now there's a few things we're going to have to do. I'm going to go ahead and create a folder. And you'll see over here as I do this, that it's going to kind of create this. I could create it in File Explorer if you wanted to as well, but I'm just going to go ahead and create it here. I'll create a folder here. I'm going to do CD backslash, which goes to the main root directory. I'll then do MD space, call the folder whatever you want to. I'm going to call mine AAA just so it shows up on top of my, my directory up here. Um, once I do that, I'm not sorting by alphabetically looks like, but if I were to sort it alphabetically, in a moment, we'll get that AAA right up top there. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and go into my AAA folder. There we go. Oop. Oop, CD AAA, excuse me. All right, now that I'm in the folder, you can also clear the screen if you want to start from scratch. Once you have that, I'm going to go into my folder here so we can kind of watch what happens as I do this. I'm going to paste in the script I just copied out from the other screen. And as I do this, about 30 seconds later, it's going to install the necessary tools. You don't have to be running as an administrator to install this on your desktop, but it will, it will give us a whole bunch of goodies we can use to administer the environment. Now that we've done that, I'm going to close my PowerShell, go into my Tools folder, in my AAA folder, again, call this folder whatever you want. I'll go to Configuration Management. I'll look for this Data Migration Utility. It's one of the many direct, uh, utilities you have access to. Once you open this up, uh, it's gonna, you'll, you'll find there's three phases to our process. The first phrase is to create a schema. The schema will say, which tables do we want to export? The second phase is where we actually export the data out. And the third and final stage is to take those two the zip files that it gives us and uh, import that into another environment. So that's our stages we're going to do. We're going to start by creating our schema here. 
and we'll select Create Schema. We'll hit Continue. We're going to use the Office 365 account and make sure you check this Display Available Organizations so you get a list of all the environments you can export from. I'll hit Next. It's going to go ahead and have me authenticate in. I will have to authenticate in uh, twice today. And then I'll go ahead and use my work account and then my password, password123. I'm just kidding. All right, hopefully that was it. Then I got my two form authentication. Just bear with me for while I do that real quick. And there we go. All right. Then I'll pick the environment I want to send the data from. In my case, it's my event environment. I'll then pick the solution I want to send it from. So I have a solution already ready made. It's loading that in the drop down box now. Uh, and there's my migration utility. You can also you know, pick and choose the tables you want as well, but solutions make it a lot easier because now all my tables are compartmentalized. You can then hit Add Entity, and it will add all the fields in that entity as part of that. I'll hit Save and Export, and then I will go ahead and point to a file that I'm going to go ahead and call this. I'll call this uh, whatever I want, YouTube schema.xml. All right, cool. So I put that into a folder. Then it's going to ask, do you want to export the data as well? Well, sure I do. I'll hit export data. I'll then point out to, uh, again, the same folder, data.zip I'll, I'll put mine as, and then I'll hit export data. I only have about 10 records or so to export, so it should take very, be only a few seconds long. If I had you know, mil hundreds of thousands of rows, it might take a, a few minutes, but it's not that bad all in all. Uh, of course, I can add in number of tables as part of that schema and data export as part of that. Once I'm all done, I'll go back here. I'll hit the import data. One thing to note also is if I want to export data again, I would then just hit export data, point to that schema file, and it will do all the work for me that time. Additionally, if I already had records in that table, it would basically, it would not, not overwrite, it would add more to that table as well. That's why I delete the records ahead of time just in case. So I'll hit import data now. Again, point to my same uh, credentials. All right, sorry guys, you gotta watch my awkwardly typing this again. I wish it would keep it all for me, but alas, it's a free utility. All right, and then two form one more time. All right, and we are now ready. All right, cool. So now that I have that done, our last stage is to go ahead and import this into my other, uh, my mockup environment, which is called mockups. There it is, perfect. I'll hit log in. All right, connect, here we go, and it's off to the races. So now, where's my data at? I'll hit the ellipsis button, find my data, and hit import data. This will now bring in those five or seven records here in my case, and as soon as it finishes up, it's doing all the validation now, it is now done. I should be able to open up my application that we saw here, this is my production environment, here's my development environment, and now that we've done that, I should be able to hit the refresh button, and alas, there we go. So in this video, we showed you how to migrate the data from the solution. You can also, of course, migrate the solution itself. Watch other videos I have on that. I'll put those in the description of the video also. And as you do this, this is how you'll also migrate your websites from Power Apps portals, now called Power Pages, from environment to environment. So all that metadata gets exported out as well. In case you're curious about that, you can find more information about that in our channel as well. This is part of our admin in the day class where we show you how to perfectly set up your power platform environment and you can find more information about that in the description of this video as well. We also do things like hackathons and virtual training as well and in-person boot camps and training. Have a great day. Thank you for watching this video and please do subscribe if you found value in this. Have a great day. Bye-bye.